Welcome back, everybody. Joining me now are GITA Administrator Carl Pangolinen and Industry Development Specialist Ms. Natalia Faculo, and they are here to tell us about the first ever Guam Export Trade Show. Half a day to both of you. Half a day. Thank All right. you for having us. All right, so Natalia, welcome back. And Carl, I've known Thank you for you. many, many years. We're classmates at St. Anthony's. A little while. Yeah. You've gone on to bigger and much more responsible things <laughs> like myself. Uh, but, you know, you've got some very admirable responsibilities right now. Of course, the, uh, the Export Trade Show, the right. training was actually today the forum yes. and the workshop actually starts tomorrow. So how has it been so far? It's been good. Uh, you know, there's a lot of uh, activity in Tumon, uh, you know, right now, as we know, with the, the uh, number of visitors that we have in, especially with the military. But, you know, part of that activity is going to be focused at the Hyatt. Um, you know, today we're wrapping up the second of uh, two days in, in terms of a, a seminar where we brought a guest speaker out to conduct a riddle of the exporter workshop. Uh, you know, we've, we've, we've had good participation, I think uh, close to, you know, about 40 uh, attendees for the two days. Um, and I think they're gonna walk away with a, a lot of good things. Uh, that there's some nice takeaways. Uh, I saw some clips um, from some video that was taken and it's like a super interactive program. So, mm -hmm. uh, you know, a lot of good stuff. But tomorrow, uh, Saturday, is, is really the, the sort of the, the culmination and the big event, and that's going to be the actual trade show. Mm -hmm. Now, again, we were talking with Natalia the last time she was here talking about this, and it's rather interesting because, of course, Guam has never had its own export good, right. and seeing mm -hmm. as how that is the focus right. of, of this forum, that makes for an incredible amount of opportunity and at the same time an incredibly fertile ground for saying, you know, can we even pull this off? Because, you know, like it's never happened before. So right. how do you guys actually approach something that we've never had? Well, yeah, I mean, I think a lot of it's a learning process. I mean, for me as well, but, you know, the export in the traditional sense that we all think about it is, is you know, making a good here, putting it on the ship and sending it off. Uh, and, and then, you know, that's still relevant, but um, it, the, the definition that Small Business Administration use, uses is an export can also be categorized as a foreign dollar being spent. And so, you know, tourism actually is our number one number export. One. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, and I mean, Natalia can uh, expound on, on some of yeah. that. Yeah, um, according to the Small Business Administration, just as Carl said, um, they go according to the definition of goods purchased by a foreign buyer, and that includes services as well. Right. So uh, it's not only those packages, packages that are sent off, it's also, it could be consulting service, it could be those tourism services. So you yeah. could actually tell people to set up shop here and then you can do almost like telecommuting or provide services elsewhere in the world, do stuff over the net, but you're actually home based here in the Absolutely. And, 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 and you would know, you know, <laughs> uh, that that's kind of your in, in your lane in terms I never of leave technology. The house. <laughs> 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 but but you know, I mean uh, in terms of uh, like like tourism, um, you know, the omiyagi concept that that's huge uh, where the tourists come here to Guam and, and they buy gifts for their families right. and their friends and and you know, they're actually uh, the the transportation leg of of the export in the traditional sense where the, the product is here, we sell it here, but they take it back. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the shipping's taken care of essentially. And so, you know, the, the cool thing about tomorrow, I mean, we've got uh, close to 50 exhibitors. We're real excited about that. Uh, you can register online to attend. It's free of charge. Uh, you can go to our, our website at investguam.com. Just, you know, click on the banner. It's a pretty fairly simple registration process. Uh, and, and free to the public. And so, you know, uh, part of the exhibitors that we have uh, that, that are going to be there, uh, there's a few government agencies, GITA, mm -hmm. GVB, uh, but, you Airport, know, we also have customs, customs. there. And I think, uh, you know, they're pertinent in terms of uh, uh, getting with the local vendors to see what it's going to take to send your mm -hmm. goods off island, how mm -hmm. you can clear all the regulatory uh, uh, requirements uh, and whatnot. But uh, I think the most important visitors that we're going to have tomorrow, and they've been confirmed, are the buyers. Right. So we've got the, the, the major yeah. buyers locally, like DFS, uh, Costulas, Kmart, ABC stores. Um, if, if Kmart's confirmed, uh, I mean, I was going to put a call out to them <laughs> to right. you know, make sure you're there because we're going to have a nice representation of, of uh, you know, local providers of, of goods and services that uh, they can feature for their retailers. So um, it sounds like all hands on deck pretty much. Tomorrow. Absolutely. Yes. It's, a who, absolutely. it's a who's who of people that would be in that business, which again, you know, like is we've, we've talked about for decades now and everything, but no one's really been able to figure out the secret formula to say, hey, like I can actually take, if I'm a small business or, you know, lure a huge company from the mainland or from Asia and actually say, okay, well, you can s develop a sustainable business model here. Right. Doing mm -hmm. some sort of export good. And, and that's the kind of stuff that gets Gita excited. I mean, you know, job creation, mm -hmm. uh, uh, economic sustainability. Uh, you know, I, I've been on record saying that, you know, the, the way to grow the economy really is through the small businesses. And, and this is really a chance for the small businesses to just reach out of their, their current uh, comfort zone mm -hmm. and, and extend out to, to markets that they haven't normally marketed mm -hmm. to. So Now, without giving too much away about what people can avail of, of tomorrow's mm -hmm. event, what is something about 
the export industry or, you know, like the, the process of exporting that some people might not realize. It might be like an intangible benefit or something they're, they're not aware of and everything that they could say, hey, you know, I, that would actually be pretty cool. Yeah, I, mean, I think just the, you know the, the the source of an outside dollar just to, to go beyond their 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 current revenue assumptions, uh, you know just just that opportunity and managing that opportunity I think is, is priceless. The one other thing that I do want to point out, uh, we're going to have we're going to have four special visitors tomorrow, mm -hmm. um, buyers and companies, uh, wholesaling companies from off island. We've got one from Russia that's going to be in attendance. One from Taiwan and two from Japan. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, just all the small businesses, just kind of be on the lookout for them. I mean, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm sure they'll stick out. <laughs> all right. So yeah. it sounds like a pretty good place to go. And, and virtually money will be floating around tomorrow. So Absolutely. Right. <laughs> a lot of opportunities. So thank you both mm -hmm. for all the work that you're thank doing. Thank you. Thanks for having us. All right. And good luck. And stay tuned because we will be back. Much more show coming up after this on Fiesta Friday.